family family how y'all doing what's going on what's going on so look i never made a specific video on this but i have to right so i did it yesterday right so i'm, I'm real happy because um i was telling you guys this in one of my lives so i got approved for another charge card uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all the name of the company uh at the end of this video right i'm gonna put the link in the at the end of this video right so let me explain some right so i just got a charge card for one of my uh for my business right and i got a few credit cards i just got approved for this month right now three of them are in-store cards the other three not the other two is one is a master the other one is a master as well so they two master cards right and so this video is pretty much talking about you know how to liquidate your credit right so you have a lot of entrepreneurs they might come up on crazy amount of credit right some people be like man i got the amax i got sixty thousand dollars on the amax card some people might have forty thousand dollars on the amax card some people might have twenty thousand ten thousand dollars on the amax card right and i always tell people right that the process that i use to liquidate any 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 um any any money from a credit card this is one simple this is one simple method right and i talk, talked about it already so for y'all who already follow me you probably already seen me said this but this is for anybody who never watched my videos or hip to my information right so i tell a lot of people make sure you get a pos system under your company right a pos system is a point of sale system that you can get from your original bank right but make sure there is a main bank and it's not like a stripe or it's not a What's the other company? I'm, I'm a Clover. What, what's what's another company name? Man, I'm missing one. It's it's the white it's the white one, right? It's the, it's another company. Uh, man, whatever the name of the company is, it's another company that take uh, people you know cash or whatever the case might be, right? And so they use that credit card processor, and those are weak processes, right? You want to use real banking processes, whether it be BMO Harris, whether it be Chase Bank, whether it be Bank of America. What's, what's another bank? PNC Bank. They got real cash processes, right? And the reason why you want to use real cash processes because you can actually charge the card for however much you want. Now, I know some charge cards give you a max, not charge cards, but I know some of the uh, POS systems that give you a max at 10000 but you can always update, update that with your bank. And you can say, hey, I want to be able to accept higher amounts, right? And your bank can approve it, right? Your merchant can approve it. It doesn't matter, right? But... I bought that POS system for about 600 and some dollars, and it's always been an asset to me. Why? Because um, when, I use a, when I used the charge card yesterday, I connected to my Apple Pay, and so I had scanned it. So I had charged it for like $400, right? Boom. It went through. It said successful. I'm like, oh, okay. So I got my other credit card. You know, I, I scanned it. It said successful. I put my debit card. Successful, 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 right? And the reason why I did that is because so many people will get trapped with all this credit and they be like, man, I want to learn how to liquidate it. Because guess what? You might want to put down on an abandoned building. You might want to put down on real estate. Real estate, you can't use a credit card, right? You only can use cash. But you might got $100,000 in credit cards. You're like, man, what, what, what do I do with it? You can go right to your bank and order a POS system, right? Now, of course, if your bank give you a credit card, don't use the credit card on, like, don't use that um, that credit card for that POS system. Of course, it's going to link up, right? It, it, and really, it doesn't matter if it link up, but if they see a consistent pattern, they mistake your business as a cash service business, right? Now, cash service business, a lot of banks frown upon them because they don't want it to be a cash service business. They want to be a, be a to, they want it to be like a regular, you know, business, whatever the case might be. But just make sure if you get a Bank of America credit card, make sure you don't have a Bank of America POS system. If you do, make sure that you have multiple companies, right? With me, I got three companies, right? So one company got a POS system and another company is about to get a POS system and I can use the company POS system against each other. So my other company, TW, that I can process all of my TW credit cards onto my mega ship credit cards. All my mega ship credit cards I can uh, process to my TW POS system, right? So TW credit cards can go to the mega ship uh, POS system. Mega ship credit cards can go to TW uh, POS system, right? So it works just like that. And it's always a good it's always a good tool to have because I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs, so they'll go out and they'll buy stuff, right? Let's just say they buy iPhones or they buy this, they buy that, and they'll try to liquidate it, they'll try to sell it off, and they might get some very small compared to what they took out. So if they had let's just say if they had ten thousand dollars and they buy 
over ten thousand dollars worth of stuff and they only can sell the stuff for over five six thousand it's like damn i just got beat out of five thousand i still got to pay the banks the other money that i'm missing but i might my investments might need eight thousand right so the banks kind of like 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 my my whole pitch to doing it is kind of shorten it but when you got a pos system you got a ten thousand dollar limit on the card you can charge the card for the full amount so let's just say you got a ten thousand dollar limit the the, the 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 POS system takes up to ten thousand. You charge the entire car ten thousand. Let's just say your bank say, hey, is this you? You authorize it. Boom. You call your company back. Say you authorizing this payment. They process it ten thousand clear, right? And not only is that good, you get the money the same. No, the next day. So you process it. You get it the next morning. Like with my transactions. I did, I did it for the same day because they asked me, they said, hey, would you like to accept your payments the next day or the same day? I said the same day. So as soon as you get paid, within four hours, it hit your account, right? So that's every time. So if you come up on a, a $20,000 credit card, $10,000 credit card, that's so much liquid cash that you could be using, right? You could be using that cash. You could be doing this. You could be doing that. You could be doing that. And then you can put the money back on your credit cards because a long time ago, me and my wife, we got stuck doing that, right? So she had a lot of Amex cards, right? So I never had a POS system. Now, the POS system that we did have was the one that I'm steady. I'm st Square. It's Square. Thank you. all I remember it. It's Square. So Square is the name of the POS system that we had a long time ago. And you could process $200 on Square and Square a flag your account, lock your car. Square is, listen, if you don't have a real bank account or a real business corporate account, do not use an off-brand pay, uh, uh, payment system. They charge too much. They don't process enough money. You can't charge it enough money. Those are not real business accounts, uh, processes, or anything. Those are for, like, literally, Square is designed for, uh, what's the name of that company again? Square is designed for lemonade stands. So if you're a child or if you're a teenager and you have a lemonade stand or a snowball stand or you selling gingerbread cookies or Girl Scout cookies, yeah, use the Square app. But when you're talking about you pushing some real money through there, do not use the Square app. Use a real business bank account POS system. Yes, it costs more than Square. I know Square is free to sign up, but the POS system from a bank, you, be, you can be paying up to $600 because that POS system handheld, it can process as much payment as you, as you want. You could be in Dubai. You can process payment through credit cards. You can be in any country, Albuquerque, you can be processing any car. You could set Apple Pay. You could set Samsung Pay, Walmart Pay. You can master Visa, American Express, Discover. All of those cars you can accept with a real POS system, and there's no limitation. I don't care if you made a million dollars off that POS system in one day. You are well in, you well within the, your regulations to make that type of money. You well within your rights to push forty, fifty thousand dollars a day into that account without the bank even thinking twice. And that's why, that's why it's easier. When you liquidate your assets through a POS system, through your bank. And not only is that a good thing to do, I'm going to tell y'all something, right? So the bank operates off cash flow. You know, most of the stuff is operated off cash flow. So if you got twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 in credit card, let's just say you might got six, seven credit cards. If you process all of those credit cards and transactions towards your bank account, that's going to look like transactions that was made from customers, right? And so if you was ever take, let's just say you, you, you went to a high... Uh, you went to a loan place or something like that and they look through your bank statements and they see all of these credit transactions. These are not Zelle payments. These are not cash out payments. These are not cash deposits. These are all debit and credit cards that your POS system accepted. So guess what? It's going to look like great customers coming your way. They're going to see the cash flow coming in. And then this is what makes it even better, y'all. This is what I'm going to say. This is what makes it even better. So you might have two POS systems and, and you might have two different companies and, and, and each company has their own amount of credit cards and you processing this company credit cards to that company POS system, this company credit cards to that company POS system. So both companies looking like they're making lucrative income, right? And so that enhances your profile even more. I mean, not, not your profile, but that enhances you as a as a uh, borrower even more so when the bank see it they see positive cash flow they don't just see like oh this man not this not man not really operating the business they see a five thousand dollar deposit i mean a credit they see an eight thousand dollar credit they see a four thousand dollar credit they see a hundred twenty five dollar credit sixteen dollar credit they are seeing credits from from debit card transactions 
not credit from a sense of you doing a Zelle payment because honestly, they look at it like it's unprofessional, right? You want to be as professional as possible. You want to look professional and you want to come off to the bank as professional. But that that's the easiest way how to liquidate credit cards, right? And also, um, um, make sure y'all make sure y'all go through Bank of America POS system. They offer a good product. I had them. I've been banking with them for all together. I've been banking with them for nine years. But the POS system I had for like three, four months. But I only use it for me. I don't use it for like customers and everything like that. I only use it for me unless I get a storefront or something like that. But that's just for me. So anytime I come up on credit cards, that was a six hundred dollar investment. But it was worth it, y'all. It was worth that investment. I will pay again for that investment. Because I can continue using it. And not only just me, all of my friends in my circle. You know what I mean? Friends I got. Hey, man, I got a $40,000 credit card. How to liquidate it? Come to me. He buying iPhones, iPads just to sell, just to sell to get that liquid cash. I'm like, no, come to me. And I can liquidate it and give you all the money for it. They don't, the banks only take 3%. So if you, you buy an iPad, you might buy an iPad and you're paying the taxes on it. But you might you're not gonna get the taxes when you sell it. You might buy an iPad. Let's just say if it's a thousand, but the, with the taxes, it's eleven hundred and twenty. You might sell it for nine hundred dollars. So you're really losing two hundred and twenty dollars. Now, if you if you charge a thousand dollars to the thing, you only I mean to the to the POS system, you only getting back nine seventy. So you only lost thirty dollars. So compare thirty dollars to two twenty. You lost two hundred twenty dollars, and uh, on the other hand, you only lost thirty. So you can't beat a POS system when it comes to liquidating your credit cards. I'm out.